His brother and sister had already been sitting on the couch with their collections splayed out on the coffee table. Danny was last. Again. Their mother, standing there in her floral nightgown with her gloved hands clasped together, didn't do much to hide the disappointment on her face. Your bag, sweetie, she said. The boy handed her the bag and she inspected its contents. His siblings, Nadia and Alex, exchanged looks of accomplishment with one another, though Danny didn't understand why. One of them was going to be first, and the other wasn't. At least none of them were going to be last. One more thing they shared together. One foot, his mother said as she reached back into the bag and pulled out another bloody appendage and examined it. Her eyes fell like stones onto the boy and her face was contorted by concern. And, a, penis. Nadia and Alex both failed to hold in the giggles that arose from their bellies and burst through their noses. Then their mother's eyes found them and replaced the discipline that had momentarily escaped them. Why would you take something like this, Danny? she asked. I thought. Speak up, she spat. I thought it would be worth more points. She dropped the appendage back into the bag and placed it down amongst the various fingers, toes, hearts, and livers that littered the table. She took a deep breath and released it slowly before she removed her gloves, walked over to Danny, and played with his hair. Well, it wasn't worth enough to get you to second place this year, sweetheart. You've come in third again. Danny lowered his head and stared at the carpet. He couldn't risk looking to his siblings again so they could make him feel worse than he already had, worse than they could ever imagine. Don't look so glum, Danny. She caressed his chin. It's only third. Yeah. Only third.